Hello everyone, you're welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is Ori Studios and on Ori Studios we give you tips and tricks to graphic designing. In today's tutorial, we're going to learn how to do a simple flyer and this is how it's going to look like. So once again, you're welcome to my YouTube channel. The flyer you saw is a work uh, someone did and uh, I was asked a few questions. How did he go about the text? How did he do that? How did he do this? So we are going to try to solve or break down his design into this tutorial. Uh, we'll be looking at how he went about it. How did he touch this? How did he do that? Uh, his name is Genesis 360. So yeah, so this is the work. You can see he's already done that and he did that about three weeks ago. So we are going to try to reproduce this. How did he go about the text? His arrangement and everything. And um, we'll see how it goes. So let's jump in. So now that we are in Photoshop, we want to start by creating our document. Um, I've already had it set here. Um, his event name is CIFAFEST. So before I go on, we want to first of all give a very big shout out to Kwame Jan. He's such an anointed man of God. You would enjoy his ministry. So we named the project Silver First. Uh, it's in the perfect square, so we maintain the perfect square. Let me just change it to five. Um, white background, white RGB set to color mode is set to RGB. So let's move on. Let's drag in our background textures. So I want to use this to create the background. Let's let's drag it in. Press and hold on shift and then drag from this side and that side. Let's create a black shape. Bring this layer above the black shape. Change the opacity of this so that it falls into the shape. This is okay. Let's make it 45. Now, let's apply some filters. We want to make it blur so that it doesn't stand out too loud in the design. This should be okay. 7.6 is okay for me. Let's bring in other elements. The next thing we want to bring in is this files this and that so let's drag them in let's change their blend modes to screen turn this one off first let's work with this press ctrl t to bring up transformation Drag until you're okay with the size. Now let's turn this one on in the blend mode to screen. Come over to edit and transform it horizontally. Let's apply a blur filter. Let's apply same to this one too. Let's group this to form the background. We can further reduce the opacity of this if it's too loud. Now let's group them. Let's call it a background. To create the main text, let's activate our text tool and type out the word. We want to use this font. Let's increase the font size. Now 
let's adjust the spacing. Now, let's change the font color to a much darker color, like so. Let's drop in our textures for the font. Now, let's turn them off temporarily. Double click on the layer to bring out the layer styles. Now select bevel and emboss. Click on this side and then edit the controls. We want to choose inner bevel. We want to change it for, to hard chisel. Now we want to reduce the softness to zero and increase the chisel size. Increase the depth. I think this is okay. Let's further reduce the spacing between the letters. I think this is okay. Now, let's clip mask these textures over the layer. Press and hold on Alt and take your mouse between the layers. Turn it on. Now reduce the opacity of this layer. This should be okay. Turn on this layer. Apply clip mask. Reduce the opacity as well. Now apply some Gaussian blur to this layer. Let's now apply a gradient map over the text. Select this. Clip mask it to just the text by clicking on this. Now let's edit the gradient. Click on this bar and select this. You can do that by editing the stops. So this should be 100% black or just bring your controls to this side. Now let's click on this, double click and adjust it to the RGB color set to 255, 157 and 384 blue. Okay. Now let's adjust the opacity of this layer. 45 should be okay. Let's add the subtitle. Let's change this font to Times New Roman. This should be okay. Let's adjust the spacing between the letters. Let's make it say 100. I am not pleased with the T, so I want to edit just the T and use a similar font. I'm going to work with this. A link will be left in the description. Now, I am okay with this. Now, let's apply the effects we applied on this text over this text. To do that, we can simply come over here and copy the effect by right clicking and copy layer style. Select this layer, right click and paste layer style. Now let's bring in our sparks to place the effect on the text. First of all, we want to separate these fire sparks. So we'll do that by cutting them into individual pieces. To do that, first let's rasterize the layer by right clicking and select rasterize layer. Let's use any of the select tools to separate them. Ctrl X to cut 
and then control vein to paste. Let's do the same for this. So select the layer, apply or make a selection over it, control X to cut, control vein to paste. Now I am okay with these separations. Let's change the blend modes for all these three layers to screen. Now let's adjust their positioning. Let's put all this text and their effect into a group. Let's select all, through it to group. Let's name it main text and change the color here. Right click, and select either any of these color choices. I go with orange. Now let's bring in our main artist or the main image. Let's select drag and drop in Photoshop. Bring up these effects, the fire effect over the main image or the picture. Now let's introduce the flags. Now let's adjust the size of the flags. Select on the layer, drag. Take both flags behind the artist. Ctrl T to bring out transformation and adjust the angle. Reduce the size to suit your choice or your preferences. Do the same for the other flag. So we are going to apply layer marks to fade out their edges and then reduce the opacity to fade them into the background. Apply layer marks, hit on B or press on B to activate the brush tool. Use the left or right brackets to reduce or increase the size of the brush. Adjust the opacity to suit your preference. Let's bring in some other fire sparks to create an effect behind the artist and over the text. Change the blend mode for this layer to screen. Now reduce the opacity for these layers. Let's apply a layer max to this layer. We are doing that because we want to erase some of the sparks because they are too much. Press on B to activate the brush tool and use either the left or right bracket keys to reduce the size or increase the size of the brush. Let's increase the opacity. Now let's apply some vignette over this part of the picture. To do that, create a new layer above the picture. Hit on J to activate the gradient tool. Click on this side of the gradient bar. Select this option, neutral density. Click on OK. Now you can click on anywhere below the image and drag. You want to apply the effect on just the picture. Now let's group the picture and its effects. Select all layers and group. Click on one. Press and hold on shift and click on the last one. Control plus G to create the group. Let's name this picture. Now let's add the detailed information to it. To do that, let's select the type tool and begin adding them. 
let's add the other text. Let's change the font type. I choose light to me. Let's change the font color to white and increase the font size. Now let's add the event month to it, July. Let's make it all uppercase, change the font type to Gotham. Now let's just draw a shape below it like we saw in the original. Now, let's add the social media handles, Facebook and Instagram. Now, let's edit the social media handles. Let's rasterize the images first. Let's use the magic wand for a quick selection. Press on shift and click on the areas you want selected. Now, press delete to delete the background. Control D to deselect. Control T again to bring out the transformation and reduce the size. Now let's apply a color overlay. Double click on the side of the layer. Select color overlay. Click on it. Click on this color and let's go with this color. I think I'm okay with that. Again, let's edit the Instagram social media icon. Let's type out the social media handles. Now let's make sure they are all in line. To do that, let's drag down a rule line. If your ruler is not activated, press on Ctrl R to activate or deactivate it. Now, group the social media handles. Let's call it socials. Let's take it just above the line or right on the line so that it is in line with this. Now the last thing we are going to add is the logo. Okay now so we can put the subtext in another group, call it the subtext. Let's select or control G to put them in a group and name it subtext. I observe that it's actually this July and not just July. So let's add that and reduce the font size. Now this is okay. Now the final thing we are going to add is the logo and we are done. And this brings us to the end of the tutorial. Yeah, so thank you for staying around. I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope it was very helpful. If it was, Charlie, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Give me that subscribe and I'll really, really be grateful. If you had any question, any challenge, you know what? Just leave a comment and I'll answer you. See you another time. Bye.